Your prophet was a slave a trader. He says it's a lie. What website is that? Sunu.com, it says it right there, bro. What website is that? Who cares? I will certainly expel Jews and Christians from the Arabian Peninsula so as to leave only Muslims in it. Do you condemn that? No. Yeah. No. Can you name the treaty the Christians broke? Can you name the treaty the Christians broke? No one said the Christians broke. There you go. No one is saying the Christians broke a treaty. What I'm saying to you guys is that you have given me an Islamic justification to expel every radical, every apologist yeah. for a radical and every supporter of radical Muslims in this country and everywhere else. That means we can get rid of nearly 90% of the Muslims in this park. No, no, 90%. There we go. 90% of the Muslims in this park gone, gone by, by your logic. Did you know that Muhammad was a slave trader before you became a Muslim? No. Would you condemn a slave trader today? Would you condemn a slave trader today? Would you? So you're condemning Muhammad. Your own hadiths, bro, say that Muhammad said that he didn't want Jews and Christians to live in Arabia. Are you denying it? Do you have statistics for... Are, are you denying it? Like, you, you're just saying, like, Muslims are killing, are killing. No, do you, you, you don't yeah. even... Bro, yeah. bro, I haven't said that. You haven't listened. Yeah, I have, I have. What did I say? You're say it to the camera, because I just uh, recorded myself. I don't want to... Actually, I don't want to be on the camera. So. Tough. <laughs> yeah. So what did I say? Because you weren't listening. What, what were you saying? What, what was I saying? You're saying about killing in Burma and killing in, uh, I don't know, like... Brother, have the humility to accept you didn't oh, yeah. hear. I, I am listening to you. Uh, no, no, you didn't listen before. Okay. So Do you, uh, did you hear what I said before? You didn't, did you? Maybe, maybe not. No. Well, what, what's wrong with just accepting that you didn't no, hear I what didn't I said? So there we go. That wasn't hard, was it? Well done. Well done. Well done. So, what I said was, Muslims condemn the ethnic and religious discrimination that's going off in China. They condemn the ethnic and religious discrimination that is going off in Burma. They condemn the religious discrimination that happened in Catholic Spain after the liberation of Spain. But they don't condemn when Muhammad did it to others. Because Muhammad expelled the Christians and Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. So when people do it to Muslims, they condemn it. But when Muhammad did it to others, you defend it. So logically, if Muslims are found guilty of breaking a treaty, then it logically follows according to Islamic logic, we can ethnically cleanse Muslims, according to Islamic logic. But if someone does that, you'll condemn it. But when Muhammad does it, you'll applaud it. That's what I said. Okay, now, now I listen to you, okay. And what would uh, you say in reply to that? I would say that, that actually it's not true, that, that uh, breaking the treaty, actually what happened was the Jews who broke the treaty. So there you go. The Jews broke the treaty and that justifies them being expelled, right? That, actually, it was a war. It, it, that, no, this the was, Jews, the, Jews. the expulsion happened afterwards. The war had been won by this point. The war had been won. You see, you don't even know your own history. They'd won the war. The, the Banu Quraysh had been defeated. They were in the hands of the Muslims to do with as they pleased. Now, are you saying that breaking treaties justifies the ethnic cleansing? Uh, I can't speak about it because I don't know the history. He doesn't know, know but yeah. a minute ago he was saying, but they broke yeah, the I, treaty. I misheard you. I so mis he did know. I misheard you talking about uh, Burma. Takia. Burma. Yeah, cheek, hey. I'm not talking about the, the history. I, I didn't study this part. So, I don't, so I don't bro, know. you need to go away and study it, right? Now, but let's do a thought experiment with me. A thought experiment means you entertain a hypothesis. Okay, you're not saying the hypothesis is true, but you're going to pretend for the sake of argument that it is true. If you, if you discover that what I'm saying is correct and that Muhammad did allow the ethnic cleansing of the Arabian Peninsula, would you condemn Muhammad for doing it? 
I can't answer the question. Why I mean, not? It's a hypothetical. Question. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I don't want to answer the question. He doesn't want to answer yeah. the question. Because, and, yeah, I can, I can tell you the same about anything. It, it's, so, it just if, so, do you condemn the Burmese state for ethnically cleansing the Muslims because they broke their treaty with the state? Yeah. There you go. Ah, very, very Do you condemn Catholic Spain for expelling all the Muslims because they broke their treaty with the Catholic state? Yeah. There you go. But when Mohammed expelled the I, Jews I for breaking their treaty that you recognize no. that I, they did, you won't condemn that. I didn't, I, didn't say no. I didn't say no or yes. I just, I just said I don't want to answer the question. Yeah, why, why obfuscation? That's all you've got, bro. You're just obfuscating. Because th these are facts that you cannot actually change. Like it, it, it's already These are known. facts that you cannot change. Yeah, but, but when you talk about the, I agree. the treaty... I agree. You can't change these facts. Yeah. And that's why you shouldn't follow Muhammad. Because you're condemning Muhammad's actions via other groups that's what you're doing when you condemn catholic spain and the burmese state you actually condemned muhammad because they did the same thing so if it was wrong for the burmese state to do it it was wrong for muhammad to do it and that's what you've done and i would say to you bro and like i would say to every muslim if you have to condemn your own prophet find a better prophet and that prophet is jesus because you can't show me where Jesus in the New Covenant commands or allows ethnic cleansing. You can't show me in the New Covenant where God um, calls Christians to wage war against unbelievers. I mean, we are called to wage war, but we're called to wage war in love, not violence. There's nothing in the New Testament that says that I have to humiliate and subjugate you. But the Quran says that you should humiliate and subjugate me. 9.29, if you're looking for the Quranic verse. So you're condemning your religion in your conscience. But for the sake of your pride, you won't admit it to yourself. No, no, it's not, nothing about pride here. I'm just like, listening to you, hearing what you have to say, and then I would maybe come next Sunday and talk to you. Okay, if I said, do you know, do you know the Pact of Umar? You should look into it. The Pact of Umar describes how Christians should be treated under Islamic law. And it essentially creates an apartheid system in which Christians are second class citizens. In, which, yeah. in what sense? Yeah. So I'll give you an example, one that you'll be very familiar with. If a Muslim girl wants to marry a Christian man, it's forbidden. If a Christian girl wants to marry a Muslim man, it's permitted. How is it in Christianity? We don't have such a law. Are you sure about that? No, we don't have such a law. There, there is no law in doing good. Christians are called to be good and be and practice virtue and act in accordance with virtue. So, so, so it's not forbidden in Christianity for a uh, Christian woman to marry a Muslim girl or Jew? You've got to understand, when Christianity emerged, we were a minority faith. There were many Christians married so is, to pagans. Is it forbidden or not? That's my question. I don't know. The logic of Christianity is that you would stay within the community. Okay. But if you do it, though you've committed a sin, it so is a, a sin. sin. One second. Though you've committed a sin... So why did you bring no, up the, the, Well, the, there's a, because there's a difference between the way that Christianity works and Islam works. You have a state law that you impose from above onto everyone else that creates a different legal status for a Christian and a Muslim. In Christianity, we have a community that you're called to be faithful to. We don't have a state law that we impose on you. It's actually not, it's not true, actually. Go on, show me. Yeah, I don't show me in the Bible. No, 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 I'm talking about, you're talking about the second citizens, second class citizens. Uh, for, for What's a second class and citizen? You to, and you have to impose, you just said they're second class citizens because they can't, like... Muslim they have a women, secondary Muslim legal status. Women, yeah, you said Muslim women, Muslim women cannot marry that was the example. Okay. That was the example was of a example. secondary legal status. Which, yes. Which turns out to be the same in Christianity, basically. No, no, no. Hold on one second. No, you've misunderstood. You've misunderstood. Show me in my Bible where it says that that we will make it illegal for a Christian to marry a non-Christian. It's a sin. Yes, it's a sin. Okay. But show me in the Bible where it commands that we should pass a law that makes it like that. 
show me in the Quran the same verse. Okay. Are you denying that in Sharia law, this is a practice that I've just described? I'm asking you. I don't know, actually. I, I'm just... Uh, Something I'm not, uh, tells me... You know, you, know, you, know, you know what, bro? Yeah. Because I get this a lot. Something tells me that just like you knew about that what happened to the Jews, you actually do know, know. that in Islam, actually, a Muslim woman can't marry a Christian man. A Muslim woman can't marry a Christian man in Islamic law. I didn't say that. I, you said you, you, there is no verse that says that in Christianity, but it's the same. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying the same thing. No, it's a law in Sharia. What is the difference between a law and a moral teaching? So, Do you know that there is a difference between a moral teaching and a yeah, law? Yeah, I understand. Yeah? yeah? So I'll give you an example. For Muslims, in this country, the, the, the rules on what is haram around food is a moral teaching for you guys. You can't apply it as a law, but you apply it internally within yourself as a moral teaching, right? Yeah. But in an Islamic state, you would pass a law from the state that would make it illegal for a Muslim to buy pork. Agreed? Uh... I'm not sure. Okay, that's fine. You're not sure about a lot of things. It's amazing that you're not sure about a lot of things. But sudden, but, you, but when we test you, your knowledge comes out. So my point to you is, in Christianity, our Are you faith, saying that I'm lying? Is that, is that what you're saying? I, 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 am, well, I am suggesting that you're pretending to know less than you actually do. I, I, when I tell you, okay, which means that I'm lying. Right? I, I think you are playing Takia, yes. Okay. I, I think you're doing Takia. Okay, then, then I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, I don't like that. Well, yeah. the, the point is, bro, we yeah. saw it on camera and the camera will show it. Yeah. You pretended not to know about the Banu Qurais, but then you gave away the fact because that you did know, know about is, the Banu Qurais. What is Banu Qurais? I don't know. I like, I, I literally the Jews this, this inside Israel, uh, Arabia that were expelled. Yeah. We have you on camera pretending that you don't know and then you did know. And we'll, I didn't know the, term, the flashback. Banu and what would you say in reply to that? I would say that, that actually it's not true. That, that uh, breaking the treaty, actually, what happened was the Jews who broke the treaty. So there you go. The Jews broke the treaty, and that justifies them being expelled, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We've got you on camera pretending to know th not know things you okay, did know. Okay, if you have, if the you, know, you just want to say that I'm lying, and you don't want to have, you don't want to talk. You just no, I'd love to talk, but I just wish, I just, I just I, wish you would I, stop obfuscating on things you actually know. Good, good for you, then. Yeah, you know, it's kind of, it's just about being honest, bro. Yeah, yeah, I am honest. Actually. So, 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 why did you pretend on camera? Because we'll do the flashback. Yeah, okay. Everyone will see it. Ooh, yeah. Why did you pretend not to know what happened to the Jews in Arabia? I didn't say that. I, say, I, I only said that I don't know the term, but a bino is something. Well, the camera will show that the camera will show that you pretended not to know something, okay, and then. then you did know. Okay. Then. So why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why are you forcing me to say that? You behaving like Catholics. Yeah, you know, you're just forcing England, me, you can't forcing behaving me like. to say that. Okay. This actually happened. Oh, happened. So, so, so let 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 let's have a let's have a. Let, let's have a, a, a conversation, okay? If I create a system of laws that treats people as second-class citizens... Sorry? Any system. If I created any system of laws that said that the price, the value of a Muslim's life was worth half that as a Christian, would you condemn that? Yeah, I would. What would you condemn it as? Islamophobia? Yeah. Discrimination? Yeah. Apartheid? Yeah. Right. Are you aware that that is exactly what Islam prescribes upon Christians? No. Right. It is. He was an example. Right. Saudi Arabia. Go, go, go away and look I don't care into. About Saudi Arabia. No, no. Hold on. No, no, that's true. Yeah. No, no. Hold on. Am I lying about what? It, no. So I'm not lying. Not about Saudi Arabia. Not about Saudi Arabia. So let me let me give you let me tell you why I picked Saudi Arabia as my example, because Saudi Arabia has been saturated in Islam for 1,400 years. Now, granted, governments have come and governments have gone. But Sharia law and the culture of Islam has been present in Saudi Arabia for 1400 years. And in Saudi Arabia today, so one Saudi second, you ask for an example, I'm giving it, don't interrupt. If in Saudi Arabia today, if a Muslim runs over a Christian, a Muslim and a Jew by accident, the blood money that has to be paid for that, for that killing for the Christian and Jew is half of the amount that is paid for the Muslim. Now, do you condemn that? 
Yeah, I do condemn it. Okay, yeah. you're it's condemning. Like you're condemning the companions of the prophet. No, 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 no. Yes, so, the companions so, so, of the so prophet taught that. So basically, about the rules in Saudi Arabia, like majority of it is not even Islamic. Like there's this lot of stuff that they pretend to be Islamic and it's not. Islam's so as, gone. As, sorry, mate, as yeah. you know right now. If that was the case, there shouldn't be opening pubs in Saudi Arabia. Although there is pubs, concerts, nightclubs, you understand? So it's, it's really like it's been changed right now. But I get where you're coming from. Right now. The fact is, guys, and you just have to go away and look into it yourselves. Muslims have been doing that to Christians for 1400 years. According to one of the Islamic, four, you've got four Islamic legal schools of jurisprudence. According to one of them, if a Muslim murders a Muslim, what is, what, is the, what is one of the punishments that the victim's family can call upon the other Muslim? Execution. Execution. But according to the Islamic jurisprudence, if a Muslim kills a Christian, the Christian family can't call for the Muslim's execution. They can call for blood money, but they can't call for their execution because a Muslim can't be killed for killing a Christian. I'm not so sure of that, I can't speak. Well, I suggest you go away and you look into what Islamic jurisprudence is. Now, if you do bother to go away and do this research and you find that what I'm saying is true, would you condemn it? If that was the case, you have to look, it's not, it's not just reading it briefly, you have to look at it very deeply. If that was the case, you condemn that specific law, because surely that's not Islamic, because what Islam is, is about fairness and justice. Yeah. And surely, I don't know where, I don't know if that's Islamically or the law of that country, but if that was the case, surely the, the Christian family could ask for the blood as well. You understand? They can't according to Islamic jurisprudence. I'm not entirely sure that's why I'll do my research. Right, but, but you, this is why you do need to go away and do your research. Because regard, if you are condemning behaviours against Muslims that are discriminatory and criminal and unjust, but in the next breath, you're defending Islam's same treatment or Muhammad's same treatment of others, then whether you want to or not, you have condemned Muhammad. Because if you condemn a certain action and Muhammad has performed that action, you've condemned Muhammad. That's what I'm saying. You have to look at it very deeply. It's not just a brief. Yeah, but I mean, it's all right to try and, and you are obfuscating on the basis that you don't know. Right? Discrimination and injustice and acknowledge that a religion that claims to be about justice and fairness actually is not about justice and fairness, in which case you should leave the deen, you should leave the sunnah, you should leave the haq, your haq, and you should look for, yeah, the truth, the, the truth, because Muslims call it truth. But, but if you're consistent, you should leave that and find a better way. If you're looking for a, a fitness instructor and you've got two people who say I'm a fitness instructor and one's a fat slob and the other one looks like a, a, an Olympian athlete, which one do you employ as your fitness instructor? The, the, the Olympian athlete. Right, but if there are two moral examples and one of them is doing behaviour you can condemn and the other one isn't, like Jesus Christ, then you should follow the better moral example, which is Jesus Christ. And that's what I'm calling you to do. Can you give us uh, specific examples of what you're talking about? I, I have literally just given two specific examples. No, no, I'm, no, I'm speaking of things that Muhammad did. Okay, so Muhammad expelled the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. He knows about it. Am I lying? You what, you're on camera, bro. I don't even know why you. You, 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 bro. Anyway, you defended it. What? Sorry. Under what condition? Because they broke the treaty. Yes. So you know about it. So I'm not lying, am I? There you go. They expelled them. Yeah, they came against, they, they were living among the Arabs, among the Muslims. They had a treaty. Like, it's the same thing if it's happened in this time. Like, if, the, if the, you have a treaty with the, if, you have, if a country has a treaty with the US, for example, and then it breaks the treaty and hit it from the back, okay. and stab it in the back, you can't have 
you can have uh, backstabbers among them. Right, so, so now we've all agreed, now we've all agreed that we have an Islamic logic to expel the Muslims from Burma and expel the Muslims from China because the Burmese accuse the Muslim community of betraying their treaty. The Chinese accuse the Muslims of betraying their treaty. So according to your logic, what the Burmese are doing and what the Chinese are doing is completely justified. You mean like if he wages war against you? Yeah. No. Yeah. You mean like the jihadis that, that the Islamic terrorists have done on behalf of the Ummah in this country when they bomb stadiums? No, no, we've already agreed that Muhammad did this. Yeah, but, yeah, but you are talking about the Chinese accusing. Yeah, well, Muhammad accused the Jews of betraying the treaty. So, I mean, about the Bani Qurayza guys. Yes. It's Bani Qurayza, they don't have to be expelled because they, it's not all the Jews. Are you, are you saying Christianity? No, hold on, one second, one second. The, 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 the companions of the Prophet, Muhammad, report that Muhammad said that he didn't want Jews or Christians in the land of Arabia. No, that's I don't know about Christians, you just It did happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see if I can find it for you. I can I see if I can. I'm not picking on Islam, I'm picking on Muhammad, get it right. You're getting it right. Uh, so, 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 what? Yeah. Can I ask me? Can I ask me? What evidence do you have that the Bible is uh, the word of God? No, hold on. You're changing the subject entirely, bro. Yeah. Stick to the topic we're talking about. Can I also just correct you based on the fact that you said Muslims they be bombing like stadiums and stuff? Like not. No, I said I said like the jihadis that okay, so bomb you, stadiums, you Islamists. What's the moral if if I if I said Muslims, allow me to correct myself. Yeah, I, I, by, if I did say that, because I think I said jihadis, but if I did say that, I'm referring to the jihadis. So you do believe not all Muslims are the same, is that correct? No, some Muslims are much better than their religion. And, a lot, and I'd say most Christians are better than their religion well, they too. get from their religion. Yeah. yeah, because when you, when, the yeah. thing is, they don't stone the thing the is, death, the right? thing is, the thing is, guys, you, you all know, or it would appear that you all actually are aware that Muhammad had the Jews expelled. I have no idea. They, they have the the okay, time. right, so, exactly, so I'm not, so I'm not lying. You're condemning others for doing to Muslims what Muhammad did to the Jews. No, but then the gentleman clearly You're stated as like, well that like, they were the backstabbers and they don't want the backstabbers to be near the prophet, which is, is understandable. You are true if, for example, I think Bob would do the same thing. Because if you look at the, if, because if you look at the Jewish history, they have executed plenty of the prophets that yeah. God sent them. Exactly. So the whole, the whole plan was to assassinate the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That's why he had to perhaps expel them. Does that make sense? Surely, if you were the ruler of this country and you had a group against you, surely you don't want them to be in your country. Okay, conscience. you wanted me to show you yes. proof that, Mah that Muhammad and companions yes, did this. In Sahih al-Muslim, Sahih al-Muslim, 1767, the grade that it is given is Sahih, Sahih. This is what it says. I will certainly expel the Jews and the Christians from the peninsula until I leave none but the Muslims. Now, condemn it. I, don't know where that's coming from. I literally just told you where it's coming from. Sahih al-Muslim 1767 in its graded Sahih. Condemn it. Condemn it. You also say... Condemn it. Do you condemn it? Listen. You also say they broke the treaty. Yeah, exactly. Which treaty did the Christians you break? The context of the hadith. Which Christian? Sorry, which treaty did the Christians Ooh. break? Along no, no. It says here, I will certainly expel the Jews and Christians from the peninsula until I leave none but the Muslims. Which treaty did the Christians no, break? No, no, no. You say. So you have no, no treaty then. You say. You Which treaty? No, I didn't say that. No, he, said. he said that. And we were talking about Jews. We never mentioned Christians. You're not keeping up with the conversation. So, tell me, which treaty did the Christians break? Well, I don't know which treaty they broke. Which, which treaty? Can you name the treaty the Christians broke? I didn't say about that. Can you name the treaty the Christians broke? No one said the Christians broke a treaty. There you go. No one is saying the Christians broke a treaty. 
So why is it saying Umar ibn al-Khattab reported the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, I will certainly expel the Jews and Christians from the peninsula until I leave none but Muslims. Sahih Muslim 1767 grade Sahih. So is a whole chapter? No, or is it just a brief? Are you, are you saying that that's acceptable? I'm not going to make anything. I'm just saying read the rest of it. The Look, there's different numbering systems, bro. I can't help it if you're... That's, that's actually, it's not saying Christians are... What, what's it saying? What's it saying? Can you read the rest of it? I don't know the, 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 English, the English name. Can you read the rest of it? Bro, this is, this is taken from your own hadith. Can you read the rest of it? Just for another. You want the rest of it? Is that right? No, bro. I think you'll find that this is. Bear with us. Well, surely you just read the brief part. I want to know the rest of it. Right, bro. This is an Islamic website I'm quoting. Look at how it's headed up. No Christian is going to put that in their website. That there is no God but Allah and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his slave and messenger. So, so this is the point. Look, this, this is all that you do. Like, I've presented you with evidence and now you're denying the evidence. You, you literally have the evidence. It, it does say that. It does, it does say, say that. You've just got the wrong website. Yeah, Your website is a wrong website. Why is my website the wrong website? Exactly, why is mine? Okay, then don't question so, it. So, so, no, do question it. That's what you should be doing. You should, should be questioning question it. it All you've done is come up with a website that is lying to you. It is the, the actual... Uh, it's not translated. It's not like the... So what does it say then, according to your translation? Uh, it's talking about paganism. Or the, the right. Jahili Look, I'm Jahili now showing. You, I just want to show you that I'm not lying. Yeah. I'm now pulling it up. One second. I'm now pulling so up. One that. second. I'm now pulling up from Sunnah.com. Sunnah.com is shown. another Islamic website that has the same hadith. There's the Arabic. There's the translation. Two Islamic websites give the same translation. So I'm not lying. Okay, Your I'm website is lying. What's the chances that two Muslim websites make the same lie up that makes Islam look bad? Use your brain, guys. So do you condemn it? Do you condemn it? I don't even know what to condemn. I, uh, do you condemn that Muhammad said these words? I'm telling you. No, no, do you condemn, I heard the Messenger of Allah say, I will certainly expel Jews and Christians from the Arabian Peninsula so as to leave only Muslims in it. Do you condemn that? No. Yeah. No. I, I want Did to you hear you that? I want no. To tell, okay, can I tell you why I don't? It, go on. Okay, because based on what you just said, yeah. I don't know the context and where it's coming from. Okay, so here's the thing. Yes. Here's the thing. By your logic, if Muslims are found to have broken the treaty with the government that they live under, it is right for that government to expel its Muslims. So, for example, when j the jihadis in this country betray the covenant that they have with the state of this country and attack the populace, it is right for us to expel every radical Muslim that wants to impose Sharia law in this country. Great. That means we can get rid of nearly 90% of the Muslims in this park. No, no, 90%. There we go. 90% of the Muslims in this park. Gone. Gone. By, by your logic. Oh, now it's wrong. And this is what you see. Notice, suddenly, when you talk about applying Muhammad's principles to Muslims, they condemn it. But they defend it when Muhammad does it to others. No, no. In this park, 90% of Muslims in this park. Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa believes that Christians who convert to Islam in an Islamic state should be killed. Ali Dawa wants to see Sharia law imposed on this country. Yeah, yeah, of course. It is, the, it is better for this country, but it is it's not a benefit. This is not a benefit. Look, you are talking about the, pro, the people who broke the treaties, the people who attacked terrorists. We are talking about terrorists. Yeah, we expel the terrorists, of course. Yeah. Great. And we can also expel everyone that supports them, right? 
Exactly. Great. But and we can also right. expel anyone who apologizes on their behalf, correct? What, do you mean, what I'm saying to you guys is that you have given me an Islamic justification to expel every radical, every apologist yeah. for a radical, and every supporter of radical Muslims in this country and everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. Great. Right. So now let's look at Palestine. Let's look at the Palestinian Israel cause. Because the whole of the Palestinian community of Gaza, the, the vast majority of it, are swept up with Islamists. When the Jews controlled Gaza, according to your logic, they had to the right to expel all of those Palestinians. Wait a minute. Are you talking about breaking treaties and Israel at the same time? Because, because Israel is like the masters of breaking treaties. What, what I'm pointing out, guys, what I'm pointing out, guys, is that following Mohammed is making you do contradictory statements. You're condemning, you won't condemn Mohammed's call to expel Jews and Christians. I'm still waiting for you to do that. Do you do that? No, no, do you do it? You won't, do you, would you? When I know the context, I already tell you. So, 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 so my point is guys, my point is guys, here we go, here's that verse. So in your hadiths, I said I'd show it to you. Uh, it says, in Sahih al-Muslim, Sahih al-Muslim says, Muhammad says, I heard the messenger of Allah say, I will certainly expel Jews and Christians from the Arabian Peninsula so as to leave only Muslims in it. Where's the justice and the fairness in that? Which treaty did the Christians break? I have no idea. You have no idea. Shall I tell you which, Christ, which treaty the Christians broke? None. There was no treaty. There was no treaty between Muslims and Christians. But Muhammad had them all expelled anyway. No, surely, surely there was, but I don't know why it's not stated. There. Well, show it to me. <laughs> I can't find it. I don't even know where you got that from. If you are a morally consistent person, you should reject Islam. No, no, no. That, rejecting the whole Islam is, is like, it's really, really massive to reject the whole religion. No. Well, you get that, 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 uh, the Muslims today reject this hadith. We want to find it. Prove it. Prove it. My friend here, his, yeah. he was a Christian. Prove he converted it. To Islam, Islam I, I, I spoke to a Muslim who became a Christian just last week. You know, so, so, and I spoke to a Christian, I, I spoke to a Christian who was from a Muslim background just last week. So, at the end of the day, if your religion is teaching things that you condemn, you should condemn your religion. Do you believe in taking and owning people as slaves? Now, now, now notice how he told him what to say. He told him what to say. You have a conscience, bro. Do you condemn taking people as slaves? No, you don't. Now, before you became a Muslim, would you have argued for slavery? No, you wouldn't. So in other words, Islam has led you to believe that owning people as slaves is a good thing. No, that's how is that? Oh, so, so you condemn owning people as slaves? So you'd condemn Muhammad because he owned slaves? No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, bro, guys. Oh, all right. Are you all saying... Bob, you are saying things you didn't say. You're okay. a liar. So Muhammad didn't own you're slaves. You're a liar. Muhammad didn't no, own you're slaves. you're a liar. Did Muhammad own slaves? You are saying things he didn't say. Are you saying Muhammad didn't own you slaves? You are saying things he didn't say. Are you saying Muhammad didn't own you slaves? You are saying things he didn't say. Are you saying Muhammad are, didn't own slaves? This, this is what I'm saying. People you are saying... Things okay. Things Did Muhammad own slaves? You're a liar. Not that, Stop lying. Not that you know of. Did Muhammad own slaves? Slave is different to botanist. Stop right? Did Muhammad own slaves? No. He never owned slaves. Okay, this is Takir. Could we pull up where Muhammad traded have, in slaves? We have lords in this country that have bottlers. The, the cute name of uh, slaves. They're not but, slaves. No, bottlers are... Bottlers have a paid contract. Yeah, that was the same thing with the Prophet Muhammad. No, no, we're so going to see was. that Muhammad no, traded in, case, in slaves. I'm going to show you Muhammad traded in slaves. If you condemn slavery, you just condemn Muhammad, you need to find a better, a better moral example. No, don't allow your friendships to lead you into an ideology in which you end up... Don't allow friendships to lead you to make permissible what should be morally condemnable. And we felt we're just pulling it up for you now. Here we go. Because you all accuse me of lying. You said that Muhammad didn't own slaves. 
So here we go. Listen. No one said that. No, he did. We You're lying. He did. He did. He did. He did. He did. No, he did. Listen. Yeah. Right. So listen. Grade Sahi in Jami at Termidi. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Al Termidi. A slave came to give the pledge to the Prophet for Hijra. But the Prophet did not realize that he was a slave, so his master came to get him, and the Prophet said, Sell him to me. So he purchased the slave for two black slaves. Your Prophet was a slave a trader. He says it's a lie. What website is that? Is that a lie? How can it be a lie? Sunnah.com, it says it right there, bro. What website is that? Who cares? You see, for your friendships, bro, for the sake of your friendships, you're attempting to justify slavery. You need to be better. You need to be a better man. No, he's a good guy. There are, there are Mus the Muslim, the, the, the ex-Muslim who became a Christian, left Islam last week. She didn't leave last week, but she left Islam because she looked at what Muhammad did and said, I don't want any part of that. He's a proud Muslim. Okay, so you say it's a lie. Are you saying that... Sooner.com is lying. Okay, can you read it in Arabic as well for us. I can't read Arabic. I'm well, going to read the translation. No, why should I? Because, I don't because, believe because in Arabization. The, transla the translation given the by a Muslim. The translation this is, is a Muslim oh, translation. Can you read it in Can Arabic? You read Arabic? So that person's lying. Say no. Can you read Arabic? Yeah, read can you read Arabic? Arabic? Yeah. Does it say that Allah trades? Does it say that Allah, a slave, comes to Muhammad? And does it say Muhammad said, "Let me buy, let me buy the slave"? Can you read Arabic? It's a lot of things. Can you read Arabic? A little bit, yeah. Can you read Arabic? So, does it say that a slave comes to Muhammad? Remember, Islam tells you to tea, speak the truth. I spoke the truth with my friend who converted to Islam. <laughs> the friend who, for the sake of friendships, has abandoned every good thinking and has now accepted a religion that permits the trading of slaves. Does it say, please, does it say that Muhammad, a slave came to Muhammad? Okay, you can't read Arabic. You, no, you, you already had your chance. You can't read Arabic either. So you, you, you claim you could read Arabic. You can't read Arabic. So, does it say a slave came to Muhammad? Oh my gosh, you've already read it. Bro, you had your chance. It's in the first line. I've never heard about this hadith. Does it say it? It doesn't matter whether you ever heard of it. Does it say in the Arabic that a slave came to Muhammad? Okay, fair enough. He doesn't want to answer the question. It might be written, but not in the first line. Let me, let me read the whole thing. Don't Bro. Okay, then no. Bro. It's not written. It's so, not written. So, so once again. I'm trying to get it for you. No, bro. You had your chance. You okay, just then. obfuscated. Just like he had his chance and he obfuscated. The fact of the matter is, if you condemn the owning of slaves, you can't be a Muslim. Why? Because you're condemning the example of the best example, which is Muhammad. So you should abandon a bad example for a good one. Okay, Jesus, good Christ, Jesus Christ. Yes, okay. let me give you an example. Jesus Christ, at a time when owning slaves was normal, never owned a slave. Never. He could have owned a slave, but he didn't own a slave. Now, How? our example. How he could have owned a slave? Our example. No, one second, one second. How could he have owned one a slave? One second. By buying one. How could he have owned a by slave? buying one. By buying yes, one. slaves by were being one. sold. What's sold? difficult about the language here? He I think it's pretty clear no. what's How being could said. Jesus, have owned Jesus Christ is my example. Muhammad is your example. You own? should be able to do and what applaud everything that Muhammad did, but own? you condemn the, slave trading. I showed you Muhammad was a slave trader. You've condemned no, Muhammad. Jesus Christ was not a slave trader, 
and he is my example, which is why from the first century to the 20th century, Christians have fought against the slave trade, but from the 7th century to the 20th century, Muslims have continued to trade in slaves. And that's the difference. Bro, nothing pro that doesn't doesn't get around the argument though, does it? No, it doesn't. It shows that some people are ignorant and make ignorant decisions. That's what it proves. Did you know that Muhammad was a slave trader before you became a Muslim? No. Would you condemn a slave trader today? Would you condemn a slave trader today? If we were selling slaves in this square right now, would you condemn it? Yes, I would. Would you? So you're condemning Muhammad. You're condemning Muhammad. Your hadiths then are lying about Muhammad. I showed you the hadiths, bro. These are your sources I'm showing to you. And when I show you your sources, you condemn your own sources. If that was the case, you should condemn uh, Jesus Christ for drinking alcohol. No. Because a lot of car crash in the UK is due to alcohol. Hold on one second. Would you condemn him? So yes or no? I would condemn the abuse of alcohol. No, no, no. Look, look, look. Once you drink an alcohol, look, yes, yes. you genuinely get a bit tipsy, then you get right. So would you condemn Jesus Christ, yes or no? So let me answer, let me answer this question. It's a fair question. He's taken the principle that I've applied to Muhammad, though he has no defense for Muhammad whatsoever, but he's taken the same principle and he's reversed it. So let me answer this question. I do not condemn the drinking of alcohol. I condemn, no it isn't, let me explain why. I do not condemn the drinking of alcohol because Jesus is my example, but I condemn the abuse of alcohol because the scriptures condemn the abuse of alcohol. I am being completely consistent. You, on the other hand, you particularly, on the other hand, condemn slavery trading, condemn slave trading. You condemn your own hadiths for talking about slave trading, but yet all of you defend Muhammad for being a slave trader. You're saying he was, we said he wasn't, but let's not go around circles. All I'm saying is, what's the point, what's the point of drinking alcohol? That? Right, no, we're not changing the topic. We, I'll, I'll use that, that, that case, I will use, I will use, I'm happy to use alcohol as another example to the argument. But I'm not going to change the argument. When you drink the alcohol, the argument you lose your control. So you depends how to... much alcohol no. and in what context. Do you drink alcohol? Of course not. Right. I drink alcohol. Surely Who has you... more experience of drinking alcohol, me or you? Surely you, because right. you drink alcohol. So if I have more experience okay. about talking about, I'm now talking about something okay. that I actually have experience of, and you're trying to argue about something that you have no experience of. Experience. Let me be clear. 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 Science. We just took the word science in because that wins an argument. Like, 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 we just, like, we'll just condemn our hadiths, even though our hadiths are sahih hadiths. What does sahih mean, by the way? Correct. Correct. So I quote sahih hadiths to you showing Muhammad's a slave trader trading in black slaves That's and then lie. you say it's a lie That's but when lie. I say what Sahi is That's you say it's correct <laughs> you see you're just jumping around bro uh, Bob, you need to speak a bit louder, honestly, because people need to hear your voice as well. Yeah, my voice is so okay, that's a good question, though. Right. It's a good question. But slavery trade, trading was popular at that time. It was a common thing. Yes. Yeah, that was usual. Though. Actually, and it wasn't so what because I know about slavery that it came, Islam came to to, actually, to, end the, to end slavery by by, le, by allowing the allowing exactly. slaves to work. And the, until they get uh, how much uh, uh, what they, the the owners uh, would want to sell them for, and then and then they can free themselves. Okay, so yeah. So 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 the thing is, the thing is, notice none of them have yet, none of them have yet condemned Muhammad for trading in black slaves. And can we just can we just remember the economy that Muhammad established? Two black slaves for one Arab slave. Two black slaves. That's your worth. 
Half that of an Arab. Half that of an Arab. And yet you won't condemn it. But if a white man treated you in a slave, you'd condemn it. But if a Muslim called Muhammad trades you as a slave, you celebrate it and defend it. Leave Islam, bro. Have the courage to leave Islam. Have the courage to leave Islam. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. No, just begin this, one. Bob. Yeah. You're a liar. I'm a liar. Bob. The hadiths no, are lying. Bob, Bob, the hadiths no, no, are lying. You're a liar. Go on. And I keep telling you you're a liar. So the hadiths bro, didn't bro, say listen, that. Listen. No, I'm going to tell you why you're a liar again. Go on. Again, Bob. Go on. Go on. Because you are accusing me of being a Muslim, bro, and I'm not. Bro. Okay, I apologize. Bob, you're a liar. Stop then no. Lying. Lying. Mistaken. Bob, stop lying. Mistaken Bob, stop lying. is the word you're looking for. Bob, stop Mistaken. Lying. Stop. Bob, you're all so, you so what? 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 Stop lying. Does this change the argument, guys? No, 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 just stop him. lying. Bob. Does this change? Him, him. I apologize. Bob, I apologize. You stop I apologize. Stop lying. Yeah, great. Right. So, you can right. argue your points. Yes. And you're, you have good points. So I made a mistake Bob, about your religious identity. That's fine. I apologize. I apologize. But you judge him for being a Muslim. Does it? No, 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 no. I made an argument assuming he was a Muslim. I was wrong about assuming he was a Muslim. It doesn't invalidate. That's date my right. argument. All it does, assume. right? And you that's ended up crazy. being lies, bro. That's what lies? And that's why when I call you out and mean what lies? lies? Stop lying. No, I know that you're lying. Which no, part of my argument was a lie? Yeah. In, in the quote. What, what, what about the hadiths about that I showed? Was that a lie? Was he selling black, black butlers no. or was he selling black people? Selling black people. Sorry, slaves, not butlers. No. Black slaves. Yeah, yeah, butlers. Okay. Was Muhammad selling black slaves? Answer the question. Non-Muslim. I'm here listening and I'm a part of this conversation. Yeah? I just want Bob to present honest arguments. I have. Don't try to imply when people are not saying something that they're saying it and just be honest. The camera can, people can make their own decisions. And people will. Yeah, they will. And they often do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, absolutely. They often do, Bob. You're right. Totally. We agree yeah. with that. We're totally they fine with they that. They often do. Yeah. On this channel and the others. So I yeah? showed you a hadith where Muhammad yeah. traded in black slaves. No, you showed that we were Muhammad traded in slaves. There we go. Black no, slaves. No, no, well, no. Well, black slaves. slaves. No, that, that, doesn't, that, that doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. Hold on. Unless a white man does it, unless a European does it, that's no, condemnable. No, no, but if Muhammad did it, it's totally no, fine. This is this is right. you again. But, but no, but this no, is no, you but, again trying no, to no, say no. something but that I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is you again trying to say something that I did. So do you condemn Muhammad trading in black slaves? This is him. No, but he's probably been attacked many times. Wait, wait, wait. Did I say that? That he. Do you no, condemn no, no, no. Muhammad exactly. trading in black slaves? Which is which is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you if condemn you are, it? If you are saying something, just say it. Do you if condemn I say it? Something, let it be what I say. Do you not condemn what it? I didn't say. Do you condemn it? Bob, you looked at his beard. No. You assumed he was a Muslim. That's racist, we right have... there. No, it isn't. No, it was. No, no, Bob. You don't condemn it. No. There you go. Why? You don't condemn it. Why? So do you condemn? No, why? Why? Wait, wait, go on, tell us, tell us why you don't condemn Muhammad for trading in black slaves. Because of the context of how things happen, Bob. Great. Which is, which is the same thing that you would do. Do you condemn Europeans for trading in slaves? 100%. Depending on the context of how they do it. There you go. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, like, if you condemn slavery, you've got to condemn Muhammad. Of course. No, no, no. It logically no, follows. The Prophet, the Prophet and if you are condemning Muhammad, we just showed you a hadith. Yeah, we literally that's showed that's you Islamic text. English translation. English no, by Muslims, translated After by Muslims. Years. Shall I tell you why you're struggling, guys? Shall I tell you why you're struggling? Shall I tell you why you're struggling? You looked at his beard, you assumed he was Muslim. And so what? He's defending Muhammad. He's defending Muhammad. He's defending Muhammad. Yes, yes, you're defending Muhammad. He's defending Muhammad. And in this context, it's right to assume someone who's defending Muhammad is probably Muslim. Bro. Shall I, shall I tell you why you're struggling? Was Jesus black or white? He was, he was neither. No, he was, he was, he was um, of the Middle East. So he was, you're white, bro. You're white, bro. Guys, do you know the reason why you're struggling? It's because your conscience is telling you one thing, but your loyalty to your friends is telling you something else. Your conscience is telling you Same one thing, like, but your loyalty to your friends is telling you something else. You've got to choose whether you want to follow your conscience or whether you want to be like a base man who just rides with his friends regardless of what they support.
regardless of what they support. Religion. You know that it's over. Right, it's so, no bro, we had a nice conversation. I'd like to give you yeah, all yeah. gifts, yeah, all yeah. of you. Yes, yeah. I'd like to give you an all... Uh, yeah, like that's a gift for you. That's you can keep it that, to yourself. That's, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm giving it to him, not you. I'm giving it to you. So, so we've had a we've had a nice conversation. I'd like to give you all gifts. Have you got a gospel, bro? Have you ever read the gospel? Half of it. Half of it. Have you got a Bible? You're not an Arab, so you won't get. Do you have a Bible? Right. I'd like to give you a gift. Okay. There you go. That's for you. Have a read of that. What? Bro, I'd like to give you a gift. What? So, so what I would what I would ask you guys: write down your questions. Have a read of it. And then come back and get me another week and let's talk. But look into what I'm saying. Yes, it's true. Sorry? No. You are men of Why would you think that was me? I love your religion. Yeah, it's got a name on it. It's not got my name on it. So have a think about what I've said and come back next week. Bro, I'd like I'd like to give you a gift. Yes, I would like to give you a gift. I'm guess I'm guessing. I'm and, guessing and, you have a Bible, bro. If there's churches, what, what does that mean? So, so how don't tell me I'm both Christian. What, so they treat you different because you're black? Is that, is that what you're saying? Because I'm saying he's getting treated different because he's white. So what? how am I wrong? You, but you're implying that in Christianity no, there is you don't no get treated white, different. Friend, that's what you say. Get rid of and I'm telling you, that's not, that's not true. But well, you're the one who mentioned it. No, I, I yeah, yeah, you told him, you told him to take the book because he's white. No, no, no. There you go, bro. Have a gift. About about slavery. This is the one you want to give me, Bob? Yes. You yeah. Sure? Yeah. Why not? I want you to target me. It's saying go but, bro, and No, it, I want you to target it, 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 me. Yeah, you sure, this is the one you want to yeah, give yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, that's for you. Go you go and learn. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Because uh, I don't want no. you to give me no. anyone. I want you to target. What does it say? I need to know more about you to give you a more specific one. I need to know more about you. So that's a gift for you as well. Okay. Nice conversation. Nice conversation. Okay. Today, I, I didn't I buy about anything. If I didn't know something, then yeah. The, the fair yeah. enough, bro. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough, bro. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough, bro. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, so what we saw, guys. What we saw, guys, is Muslims condemning behavior, but then in the next breath, defending the behavior of Muhammad. And I just go back to this point. It's about following the better moral example. It's not about talking about what happened in the past. This is not talking about paedophile kings of the past or slave trading Europeans of the past. We're talking about the one that we uphold as the moral example. If Muhammad is the moral example to follow, then you should celebrate his slavery. You should want to be slave owners yourselves. But if, as many good Muslims do, you condemn the owning and trading of slaves, then you have condemned Muhammad. If you condemn ethnic cleansing for the breaking of treaties, then you can't condemn the ethnic cleansing of Muslims in Burma and China for the breaking of treaties. And if you're not willing, and if you're going to condemn the ethnic cleansing of Muslims both now and in the past, then you have to condemn Muhammad who said that he would ethnically cleanse Arabia of Christians and Jews. And if your only defense is to obfuscate, deny, and say that your own Sahih Hadiths are lying to you, then that means that you're saying your own sources that you use to interpret your own Quran yeah. can't be trusted. Okay. In which case, yeah. the authorities can't be trusted. Choose a better religion. Right. The moral example has failed. Choose a better religion. Very nice. Very nice. And that better religion is Jesus Christ. We do not have these problems in our religion. Very nice, very nice. That is the choice that I lay before you. Okay, thank you. So pick up your Bible, have a read of it, speak to I, I a knowledgeable choice. Christian. Thank I you, made my you, choice. I'm, to support I'm a Christian. I'm Christian today. There we go. He's a Christian today. I became Christian now. I wanna you look like you wanna talk to me. Go on then. Um.